in our previous lecture we discuss about conservation of mechanical energy and we saw how energy is conserved now there is to be conserve uh, to fulfill the criteria of conservation of mechanical energy there are two kinds of force two kinds of force one is conservative force and other one is non conservative force okay so now we will learn what is conservative force and what is non conservative force so what is the definition of conservative force it says that a force is said to be conservative if the work done by the force does not depend on the path along which the body moves but depends only on the initial and final position it it means the work done by the force work done by the force does not depend on the path along which the body moves so here we find out that what done by the force does not depend on the path like however it goes it does not depend on the path how it moves it only depends on the initial and the final position initial and final position from that we can say that from uh, that we can say that for conservative force <coughs> the work done by this force over a round trip is zero so work work done by this force over a round trip over a round trip is zero now let us take an example let us take an example example suppose <coughs> there is two point one is point a and another one is point b okay and let an object of mass m be raised from point a to a point b whose vertical height is h whose vertical height is h the transfer of the object along the paths one like this is the first path i transfer it from a to b in this path and again i transfer it a this from point a to point b this is this is our path two different but gravitational force mg like for this object when i raised it from raised it here the gravitational force will be mg this is our gravitational force Force. Okay, so this is mg. So our gravitational force mg acting at any point in any path always acts vertically downward. Okay, so the displacement of the object along the line of action of gravitational force is h. Like it does not depend where which path we use. It only depend the vertical height from the ground. So we take this. A to uh, we take this uh, object from A to B at point A point uh, path one or we I take it from path two does not depends in which path I takes it only depends the height from which point to which point I take this in vertical height okay so work done along each of the path is same so if I take this in path one and if I take this in path two is are always same. For some, uh, for uh, let us take an example. If I take this from A to B in path one, what will be the uh, what will be the work done by gravitational force? I take this as work one. It will be equals to minus of mgh because our mg is acting downwards. But I try I tends to pull it down from point A to point B. Pull it up. Sorry. And when again. I move this object from point B to point A. Point B to point A, my total work W two will be mgh. Why there is no minus sign? Because I now my work is done uh, done by the gravitational force. In that case, my work is done against the gravitational force. So work done by this force over a round trip. So this is a round trip because I take uh, I uh, first of all I take this object from point A to point B, 
and now I again I <coughs> uh, pull down this object from point B to point A and it says that work done by this force over a round trip is zero. So my total work will be W1 plus W2. So this is the work done by a round trip. If I put the value of W1 and W2, W1 is minus of mgh and W2 is mgh. Okay. And this is equals to zero. This is equals to zero. So this is the scenario of conservative conservative force. So this is the so this gravitational force is known as conservative force. So what so I found that gravitational force is a conservative force. Gravitational force is a conservative force. <coughs> there are several uh, force we can um, determine which is conservative like another one is electro electrostatic force. electrostatic force static force and uh, elastic force elastic force which is also a conservative conservative force and ideal spring force and another one is ideal spring ideal i ideal spring Okay, so these are the example of conservative force. Now, what is non-conservative force? It says that a force is said to be non-conservative. It's said to be non-conservative if the work done by, done by the force depends on the path along which the body moves. In our previous case, it does not depend on the path, but in that case, we depends on the path. We depends on the path along which the body moves. Here you can say that work, by, work done by such force over a round trip is not zero. So here over a round trip, okay, sorry, work done, work done by this force, by this force over a round trip, round trip is not zero okay is not zero okay so now let us take an example this is our point a and this is our point b let an object be pushed from point a to point b in the path one okay this is our path one <coughs> we uh, and our path is a smooth horizontal floor so while the path is this, this, this path is smooth horizontal floor floor in this case frictional force acts against the motion of the object here frictional force frictional force is applied and it acts against it acts against the path the motion of the object it acts against the motion okay so in this transfer work done is to be done against the force so this frictional force is <coughs> so my work done is due to this frictional force is work done against the force so now let us take a small position of this so here for this dx distance uh, dx distance or displacement for this dx displacement we done a work dw okay so if I find out this work one, it will be minus of f dx. Okay. So if I want to find out the whole work, I have to integrate. This is our dw one. So if I find out the work one, I have to integrate this whole path. Whole path. Now, if the object is taken from B to A along path. Two, this is our path to the frictional force in this case will also act against the motion so in this case our w2 will be equals to minus of f into dx f into dx okay so what, what will be our total work total work will be w1 plus w2 which is equals to 
minus of f dx plus w uh, integration of 2 of minus of f dx and it is it will not equals to 0 it will be not equals to 0 so this kind of force is known as non conservative force so we find find out, find out that frictional force is non conservative force okay and in the same manner there are also viscosity of fluid viscosity of fluid is also non non -conserv non conservative force okay so this is the main concept of conservative force and non conservative force i hope you understand the concept of conservative force and non conservative force please like this video and do subscribe to our channel thank you